Cryptanthus roseus, agroplants.org, also known as starfish plant or earth star. This leaf plant, bromelads, uh, it's perennial evergreen, used as ornamental plant, and can grow in subtropical Mediterranean or, of course, in the tropical climate. Uh, possible also to grow it indoor as a house plant, and it can grow from hardiness zone of 10B plus, uh, easily outdoor and with the right care in hardiness zone of 10A. Usually, it's just to add some mulch in the winter to protect it from the cold. Don't forget that if you want to purchase this plant, you can all, uh, always just purchase it from the link below, link in the right top side. If you purchase it, uh, this is donation for this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe, it's really helped me to continue and create more videos. And this is important. So, some information about the plant. So, the leaf color can be a variety of colors. It can be bordeaux, pink, red, green, orange, purple, white, yellow or, of course, more than one color. Uh, there is different uh, patterns, uh, usually it's uh, stripes, different colors. Uh, flowers, green or white, not very... Uh, it's in crown structure, it's great like crown in the middle. I don't know, uh, I wouldn't uh, grow it for the flowers and a lot of time it's just uh, not blooming because of uh, the condition. The condition always, not always are is the best for this plant, but they grow well, but for blooming it's specific conditions that not always uh, it will bloom. So how to grow? Better more than 3 uh, Celsius degree, uh, but prefer 15 to uh, fif above 50, 15 Celsius, it's been 59 Fahrenheit, can survive uh, 0 Celsius, uh, 55 Fahrenheit, Light frost also, but it's not recommend. Heavy frost, I'm heavy snows. I'm not sure that this plant can survive. Well done, <coughs> well drained soil, slightly acid soil, moist soil, warm climate. Uh, better use pure purified water or rainwater. Soil should be something light and uh, not something heavy. It's really important that uh, maybe to use like a uh, cheap. A wood chip or a cocoa soil, crocs uh, of a tree. Uh, the, it's very important that uh, will be good ventilation for this plant. Fertilizer. Uh, it's possible a few times a year, but once a year will be enough. Uh, also spray the fertilizer. Fertilizer. It's important, and uh, don't fertilize in the winter. You can start to grow it by seeds, uh, daughter plants, or just to buy a plant. Main problem with seeds that it's uh, quite of annoying to find them, and it's not really easy to start by seeds. But if you want uh, to grow it from seeds, it's possible. But of course, if you grow from seeds, don't forget that you won't have a clue what kind of colors, uh, color of the leaves you will get. Planting season will be from in 10A will be spring, spring to summer in hardiness zone of 10B. Spring to autumn in hardiness zone of 11 and all the year in hardiness zone of 12 plus. A major pests are mealybugs and pruning can be all the year in hardiness zone of 11B plus and spring to the summer in hardiness zone of 10A. Except this pruning it's usually just dead leaves so this you can bloom all the year and bloom stems also. When it's something dead just cut it feel free. Size of the plant will be from 5 to 20 centimeters, so it's been 2 to 8 inches. And it's in the amazing condition, it will be medium growing speed plant, but usually it's slow growing plant. And they uh, require average amount of water, you need to put the water in the middle of the rosette sleeve, you know, in the middle of the plant, just put some water. Uh, need high humidity, uh, moist soil but well ventilated and well drained soil this is important because uh, if not the roots will die that's all really simple a uh, light condition will be full shade and a lot of light without direct sun a uh, sun will burn the leaves especially if you have very very hot summer it will it will kill the plant even not just will burn a little bit will kill the plant also the flowers it will burn and it's leave uh, burning marks Except this, it's possible, as I said, to grow it indoor, 
but uh, usually people grow it indoor unless you live in the tropical zone and uh, choose location if you grow it in indoor uh, not dry location it's possible to grow it in the bathroom I know it's a little bit out of the chart uh, you know it's a little bit weird but this is a good place you have light you have humidity and it's warm warm there from the you know from the showers that you take especially in the winter but the main problem here is that a lot of time you have heaters and don't put it next to the heater the heater will kill it when you grow it in a container it's possible like five uh, not five let's say eight liter it will be enough uh, not so much deep shallow uh, it will be also okay and don't forget uh, to put some mulch on the soil to keep the humidity and the, uh, to keep the moist Blooming season usually it's from summer to autumn, and except this, this is beautiful plant. There is different kind of uh, uh, colors, and of course, if you grow other uh, crypta, uh, cryptanthus, uh, you will have another kind of colors and sh pattern shapes. But this is uh, this is what you get. This is just one kind, and you can check in the net. Another idea. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe. Visit our website. And of course, if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant, and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy, and come visit us again.